Hello, welcome back to That's English. Annabelle, what are you doing? Come and say hello, will you? Oh, yes, hello again. Uh, try to look more surprised, Ashley. Why? What are you doing? Well, I'm making a short film with my new camera and you, Ashley, are my main character. Mm, thanks. What genre is it? What? What kind of film is it? A horror film? A romantic film? What's the plot? Well, I haven't finished writing the screenplay yet, but you fall in love with a girl, but then she discovers that you're a murderer. Ah, so it's a thriller or a horror movie? Yes, and I'm playing the girl. Well, today's episode is about making films, or movies, as the Americans say. Yes, we're going to meet Matt, who wants to make a movie in Cafe 27. While you watch, find out the answer to this question. What genre is Matt's movie? You know, I love this cafe. Well, thanks. We do our best. It's so cool that it would make a great location for my new film. Really? Yes, it's perfect. And are you searching for a handsome male for the main character? Someone charming and sophisticated? <laughs> no. I'm looking for a good location. <clears throat> so, what is the film about? It's a brilliant screenplay. It was written by... me. Oh. Uh, what's the plot? It's about an innocent girl who is hurt in a relationship. As a result, she wants revenge. She wants revenge so badly that she will do anything to get it. That's the kind of film I like. <laughs> what genre is the film? It's a horror movie. It's not going to be a Hollywood blockbuster or anything like that, but it's going to be a masterpiece. A film shot here in this cafe? <laughs> this is so exciting! <laughs> Will there be a fee for using the cafe? It's such a low-budget film that there's no location fee, I'm afraid. I'm sorry, Matt, but I'm trying to run a business. And therefore, I don't think I can help you. It's only a few lines. We'll be finished so quickly that you won't even notice us. Go on, Bill. You'll be invited to the premiere. You can walk down the red carpet. I don't want to lose my regular customers. Think of the reviews. Think of the awards. If the film is successful, this will be such a famous cafe that everyone will want to come here. You won't have to do anything. And I have such wonderful people working for me that your customers won't notice us at all. Really? Really? How about nine o'clock on Thursday morning? OK, if it's for not more than an hour or so, you can film next week. Great. You won't be sorry. I'll see you next Thursday at nine o'clock. Remember, we start getting busy for lunch at 12 o'clock, so you must be finished by then. No problem. Uh, Matt, uh, wait a minute. What's the main character like? <sighs> Her name's Rosie. She's a kind, shy girl. She is seduced by a married man. He finishes with her, and consequently, she wants revenge. She loses her shyness and later becomes a homicidal monster. Do you know, I studied acting at college. Really? I was in a film once. I'm very photogenic. They say the camera loves me. So I could play a homicidal monster. Sorry, too late. The main character has already been cast. I could play a supporting role. Just a brief cameo, perhaps. I look good in close-up. We might need some extras. Oh dear, Elaine thinks Matt is going to give her a big part in this film. Yes, but I think he'll only let her be an extra with no lines to say. Did you get the answer to our question? What genre is Matt's movie? It's a horror movie. It's not going to be a Hollywood blockbuster or anything like that, but it's going to be a masterpiece. So, it's a horror film. Yes, it is. What an interesting plot. I might use some of Matt's ideas in my film. Mm. In the video, we heard people talking about result and consequence. Watch. It's so cool that it would make a great location for my new film. She wants revenge so badly that she will do anything to get it. We use so and that with adjectives and adverbs. 
You know, Annabelle, the film I watched last night was so boring that I fell asleep. Yes, sometimes films are so badly acted that people lose interest. Mm. And we use such with an adjective plus a noun. Watch. It's such a low budget film that there's no location for you, I'm afraid. If the film is successful, this will be such a famous cafe that everyone will want to come here. Oh, Ashley, you're wearing such a nice shirt today. Ah, oh, thanks. And you're wearing such pretty earrings. We can also express result and consequence in a different way. For example, Annabelle has got a new camera. As a result, she thinks she can make films. Oh. Or we can use consequently, therefore, or so. Let's see some examples from the video. Watch. I'm sorry, Matt, but I'm trying to run a business. And therefore, I don't think I can help you. He finishes with her and consequently, she wants revenge. They say the camera loves me. So, I could play a homicidal monster. <laughs> Hmm, Matt doesn't seem impressed by Elaine, so I don't think she'll be in his film. Well, let's see how Matt's film is going. Yes, in the second part of the episode, the crew are filming in Cafe 27. While you watch, try to answer this question. What did they do with the scene they filmed in the cafe? Good, and into the cafe. OK. Check hair and makeup. Hair and makeup have both been checked and are fine. Okay, let's go for a take. A roll camera. Twenty-four, take one. And action. Hello, mum. Cut. Liz, make sure no one comes out of the cafe until we finish the shot. All right, let's go again. Roll camera. 24, take two. And action. Cut. Wasn't I wearing my scarf in the previous scene? Let's go through it once again. First, you check your mobile. You can't believe he hasn't left a message. Next, you stare out of the window. After a while, you start to cry. But then you stop. You think of how you're being treated, how you've been hurt, and are still being hurt. Finally, you make your decision. He is going to be hurt too. You are going to kill him. It doesn't feel right. Perhaps it would help if I was included in the shot. I could be here and... No! Are you going to be here all day? Oh, we've almost finished. You said that two hours ago, Matt. How's the film coming on? We're just uh, completing the editing and we're adding the soundtrack. Ah, great. When's the premiere? In a couple of weeks at a small local film festival. What, no red carpet? No Hollywood stars? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, does the cafe scene look good? Unfortunately, the storyline was rewritten after the cafe scene had been filmed and then we decided that it didn't help the plot, so... In the end, we cut it. Oh, that's a shame. Well, Matt, I think you owe me a big favour. I owe everyone favours. And I owe the bank a lot of money. Oh, dear. Matt didn't seem very happy. He owes everyone money for the film. But at least he's made his film. Did you get the answer to our question? What did they do with the scene they filmed in the cafe? Unfortunately, the storyline was rewritten after the cafe scene had been filmed, and then we decided that it didn't help the plot, so... 
in the end we cut it. They didn't use the scene in the cafe at all. They decided it didn't help the plot, so they cut it. <laughs> Poor Bill. He's not happy about that. But it's the director's decision. A director really has to help the actors to understand their characters. Yes, it can be a difficult process. See how Matt explained to Rosie the way her character develops. Watch. You think of how you're being treated, how you've been hurt, and are still being hurt. Finally, you make your decision. He is going to be hurt too. Matt describes the process using the passive voice. He says, think how you're being treated, how you've been hurt. We form the passive using the verb to be and the past participle of the verb. Remember, we use the passive voice when the action is more important than the person doing it. Watch again. Unfortunately, the storyline was rewritten after the cafe scene had been filmed. And then we decided that it didn't help the plot, so in the end we cut it. The storyline was rewritten. It doesn't matter who rewrote it. But if we want to say who rewrote it, we use by. It was rewritten by Matt. Do you know who wrote the screenplay for Star Wars? Well, yes. It was written by George Lucas. That's right. Matt also explained to Rosie, the actor, the sequence she had to follow. Watch. First, you check your mobile. Next, you stare out of the window. After a while, you start to cry. But then you stop. Finally, you make your decision. When we describe a sequence of actions or events, we can use these words. First, Next, after a while, then, and finally. So, now it's time to talk to some people in the street. Good idea. This week we asked the question, do you agree the book is better than the film? Let's see what people say. I'm uh, a movie buff, I love movies. Deep down inside, I feel, uh, you know, reading a book, like, you know, in your own personal space, like, comfortably, is quite thrilling. I, I prefer films most of the time, but I read, read a lot too, so it's more or less the same. Um, I do enjoy films, I watch more films, but I would say the book is often better than the, 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 the film equivalent. Well, I'm not a good reader, so I prefer movies, but I think... Uh, the books give like a better imagination to the people and better uh, writing, so I think books are better. Yeah, I should say that, but I enjoy films because I'm a lazier person. Um, yeah, I think uh, the last book I read properly was probably Lord of the Rings, which was a long time ago. And I think I prefer the book still to the film, just purely because you have your own, you know, vision of things. Uh, having said that, uh, I know my little brother, he prefers watching films than reading these days, which is, I know it's a shame, but I think it's the, the way the world has started going. Interesting. I agree that the book version of Lord of the Rings is better than the film. Ashley, I don't think a book could be more exciting than my film. <laughs> oh, bye, everyone. See you next time. Yes, bye. Bye.